guys! Today I'm going to review a TV show called Zodiac and this is the first episode Death of a Crab. <laughs> Zodiac, the episode Death of a Crab, was broadcast in 1974. Zodiac only lasted one season, they made six episodes, and Death of a Crab is the first episode. It was created by Roger Marshall, who also wrote three of the six episodes. Death of a Crab was directed by Raymond Menmuir. Other episodes were called The Cool Aquarian, The Strength of Gemini, Saturn's Rewards, Sting Sting Scorpio, and The Horns of the Moon. All six episodes feature a star sign in the title. The episodes run 50 minutes and is a lightweight detective show with a difference. The show stars Anton Rogers as David Gradley and Anushka Hempel as Esther Jones. <laughs> and Anushka Hempel, they team up together, he plays David Bradley and she plays Esther Jones and he's a detective solving crimes but he has to team up with her because she has better detective abilities and she's got psychic powers as well, she does horoscopes for people and she can work out people's star signs just by the, the personalities so it's a really bizarre show Two totally different people teaming up together, but they both have like a great chemistry between them. Lovely long fingers, Mystic Cross. Great. On? On, definitely. Spare me nothing. Hmm. Pinky, the sun finger. Cut Love off that. Phil. She's hot. She can do my horoscope reading any day. Yeah. And her psychic powers, they, they, they only get used sparingly in the show. In later episodes, she can hear one of her friends get killed and she hears a, a voice screaming. So that was an, that's like an example of her psychic powers that she sometimes uses. So the show is a light detective show with lots of comedy. It's mostly the witty dialogue between the two leads. And there's also the will they won't they like have a relationship together. When you watch it you can kind of tell that they both like each other. That they get jealous if one goes with someone else. <laughs> I think I've just observed Venus ascending. You've just seen a size 12 redhead getting dressed. She's a hostess in a nightclub but she's allergic to pizza. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a dive job. Hey, Phil, is that character gear or something? Why is that bones? Well, he never tries it on with her. It's obvious she fancies them. All women fancied hard fellas in the 1970s. <laughs> <laughs> and it's quite funny because she always seems to get one up on him. She's always one step ahead of him solving the crimes. So Anton Rogers, he's done a lot of stuff on TV and film. I remember him in The Man Who Haunted Himself. And he's good at playing this cynical detective who doesn't believe Esther has these powers. And he's always a little bit pissed off that she, she always seems to know more than him. Anushka Hempel, she was in Scars of Dracula playing a vampire. She was also in Kiss of the Vampire. She was even in On Her Majesty's Secret Service playing one of the Angels of Death. She was also in UFO. Unfortunately, this show only lasted one season of six stories. And because the titles always have a star sign in the story, it's kind of disappointing that they didn't manage to do 12. So that would be all the, the Zodiac signs. So I think they were probably expecting another season of it. But unfortunately, there wasn't. There was only one season. However, Anushka Hempel went on to star in... A TV show called Who Done It that was hosted by John Pertway. Her and Patrick Moore were uh, part of the, the panel that solved the crime. It's a good show. It's on YouTube if you want to watch it. Who Done It? And she was in from 1975 to 1976. As usual, our residents are the lady with an intuitive eye for the right answer, Miss Anushka Hempel. And the man with two intuitive eyes on her, Patrick Mower. Oh. <laughs> so the TV show Zodiac, the strong point is the chemistry between the two lads. They have lots of witty banter between them. I also like the fun titles and the title music right at the beginning and end. 
However, it's definitely not for everyone. The downside is all the episodes are studio bound, so there's no location filming. And it does look dated and slow paced. The hell the buggers are slow as hell. <laughs> Ones. And oddly enough, the best episodes are the ones later. Episodes 4, 5 and 6 are really good. Episode 1, it's just more of an introduction, really. It introduces the characters well. A little background information about each one. There's a shock sequence where someone says a dead body in the bath. And there's a bit of suspense towards the end when the, the murderer goes after Esther. He goes to her home to kill her. So it's not a bad episode. It introduces the characters and the concept of the show. But they're better episodes are later on. I think it's when you get used to the, the characters that um, the show improves. So out of 10, I'd probably give this one a 7. 7 out of 10. But if you think they want to do like it, I thought it was a load of old shit. It gets nabbed. You only like the bugger because you fancy the woman in it. Eee, you cheeky skinny bugger, yeah. Get a bloody haircut, you're like a long haired bloody hippie getting. Okay, everybody, bye. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye hi. Bye. You see, I've, uh, I've just met this gorgeous girl. Long blonde hair, green eyes, retrousse nose, lovely smile. There's only one problem. She's the assistant commissioner's secretary.